By now, we have understood that fluoride is a naturally occurring mineral that is commonly added to water supplies and dental products to help prevent tooth decay. While fluoride is an important tool in dental health, excessive consumption during early childhood when teeth are developing can lead to dental fluorosis, which can cause white or brown spots and streaks on teeth. Dental fluorosis has varied clinical features. It's usually lustreless, opaque white patches in the enamel which may become mottled, striated or pitted. These mottled areas may get stained yellow or brown. Sometimes hypoplastic areas may also be present on the enamel surface to such an extent in severe cases that the normal anatomical structure of the tooth is lost. However, even though these affected teeth may represent cosmetic problems, teeth affected by fluorosis are known to be highly resistant to a caries attack. If a child ingests water with a fluoride concentration 2 to 3 times greater than the recommended amount, it causes white flecks and chalky opaque areas on the tooth enamel. This is termed as mild fluorosis. On the other hand, a tooth is said to have moderate fluorosis when all the enamel surfaces of the teeth are affected and the surfaces subjected to attrition show wear. Additionally, brown stains are also present here. In cases of severe fluorosis, apart from the clinical features already discussed, there is also discrete or confluent pitting present on the tooth surface. The Dean's Index talks about all these conditions in detail which we will learn about in the upcoming videos. Moving on, remember that dental fluorosis is a developmental phenomena that occurs due to excessive fluoride consumption only during amelogenesis. Once the crowns of the teeth are formed, no further fluorosis can be induced by additional intake of fluoride or even by post-eruptive topical fluoride application. In these fluorose teeth, the hypocalcified areas of the mottled enamel are less soluble in acids, have a greater permeability to dyes, and emit fluorescence of higher intensity than normal enamel. In case you have come across a patient with dental fluorosis, you must have noticed that it occurs symmetrically within the dental arch. That is, if the central incisor of the first quadrant is affected, the central incisor of the second quadrant too will be affected, since fluorosis always occurs bilaterally. This is one of the major points of difference between dental fluorosis and enamel hypoplasia. Enamel hypoplasia may not necessarily occur bilaterally, while dental fluorosis is always bilateral. Lastly, remember that it's the premolar which is usually affected by fluorosis first, followed by the second molar, maxillary incisor, canine, first molar and mandibular incisors. Premolars are often the first to be affected because they undergo mineralization earlier than the other teeth. Their development overlaps with a period of high susceptibility to fluoride exposure. Second molars are also commonly affected due to their proximity to premolars and similar mineralization timing. Maxillary incisors, canines and first molars follow in susceptibility because they mineralize later in the developmental sequence. Mandibular incisors are typically affected last since their mineralization occurs latest. In conclusion, dental fluorosis is a condition that affects the appearance of teeth due to over intake of fluoride during tooth development. While fluoride is essential for dental health, excessive consumption during early childhood can lead to dental fluorosis. To prevent dental fluorosis, fluoride should not be consumed more than the optimal amount, supervised tooth brushing and only a pea-sized amount of fluoride toothpaste should be used. By following these simple steps, you can help ensure that you and your family have healthy, beautiful smiles for years to come. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.